when you have a shield of faith, this word shield, uh, follow me, in the Greek it actually is thyreos. Someone say thyreos, which means it's shaped like a door. So the shield in, in, in Greek is thyreos, which means it's shaped like a door. Someone say hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, when you have faith, the doors will be open. When you have faith, then it will open up the doors. When you have faith, it will be shaped like a door so that your whole body can step into it. I'm telling you right now, you're about to step into new realms of glory. I'm telling you right now, you're about to step up higher into new levels. I'm telling you that your faith is causing you to step up into a new realm that you've never been before in the mighty name of Jesus. But guys, I, I really feel like, you know, we've been talking about February is the month of love. But, you know, I really feel like God wants to impart to us realms of faith. Some say faith, okay? Now, faith is a different substance from love, okay? How I always teach on faith, hope, and love uh, is this, you know, faith is for today. Someone say faith. Faith is for today. Hope is for tomorrow. And love is forever. I'm going to say that again. Faith is for today. Hope is for tomorrow. And love is forever. Someone say amen. What does that mean? That means love is of eternity. Hope is you're hoping for everlasting. And love is right here, right now. Which means that you and I need to learn to put a demand on the anointing. Put a demand on the Holy Ghost. Come on. We need to learn to put a demand on what's available right now. Because when you are in love, then you have access. Someone say access. Which means that you can have faith. Because you know that the one that you are asking and coming before. Because the Bible says come before the throne of grace in times of mercy. So that you will receive. Someone say amen. So when you are in love then you can have faith to ask and to ask big and to receive now i really believe that we're in a time and season where we're going big some say big but we're in a new year come on we're in a new decade okay we're in a new year we're in a new decade we're in 2020 and god is not only bringing uh, glory to glory not even victory to victory but from faith to faith some say faith to faith okay we're going from faith to faith which means that the level of faith you had yesterday is not enough for today. God wants to increase your faith. What did the disciples say to Jesus? They said, oh, help my unbelief. Come on. Are you in a season right now where you're saying, Jesus, I need more faith? Where you're saying, Jesus, help my unbelief. I believe we're in a season right now where Jesus is saying, I don't only want to help your unbelief, but I want to give you the substance of things hoped for. I want to give you my faith. I want to give you my power. I want to give you my grace. I want to give you what you are lacking because you're going to need more. Someone say more. You're going to need a great dimension of faith to have access to pull on. Come on. Pull on strongholds. Pull down mantles. What does that mean? That means you can pull on the hem of his garment. You can pull on the clothes of his glory. You can uh, pull. You know, the Bible says that he is clothed with garments of light. He is clothed with garments of glory. Come on. Someone say amen. Which means you can pull on that grace. You can pull on that anointing. You can pull on that revelation. And I believe right now we're in a day and season in this month as we're entering into the month of March where God is saying, I want you to pull on grace. Not only do I want you to push, but I want you to pull. Someone say pull. Come on. What are you pulling down from heaven? What are you pulling into the natural realm? What are you pulling from heaven on earth? What are you manifesting right now? In this month of March, he wants to increase the realm and the strength and the gift of faith. Someone say faith. Amen. Why? Because faith means that you're believing for greater things. You're not believing for the smaller things. You're not believing for the menial things, for the things that are possible. You're believing for the impossible. Come on, what impossible great thing are you believing for right now? Listen, this is a season as we're about to enter into the month of March where you will march forward, where you will advance because the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, all right, here we go. We're going to go to the Word of God, to a Bible verse here. All right, the, the Word of God says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. Come on. It says, and after we've done all things, take up the shield of faith. Someone say shield. Come on. It says, take up the shield of faith. Do you know that your faith will distinguish fire arrows? Which means who cares if you're getting attacked? Who cares if devils are coming at you? Who cares if persecution, accusation, slander, and gossip is coming at you? But when you have faith, someone say faith, it means that it is a weapon that not only causes you to defend, but is on the offense. Faith is an offender to those who are in unbelief. Faith will offend those who have lack of faith. 
True faith will offend those people who do not believe because God is saying, I want to upgrade your faith. I want to increase your vision. I want to increase your sight. Someone say amen. So when you have a shield of faith, this word shield, uh, follow me, in the Greek it actually is thyreos. Someone say thyreos, which means it's shaped like a door. Did you know that? That word in Greek, shield of faith, shield is Thyreos, thy in means God, rios means uh, uh, rios means door. All right. So the shield in in, in Greek is thyreos, which means it's shaped like a door. Someone say hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, when you have faith, the doors will be open. When you have faith, then it will open up the doors. When you have faith, it will be shaped like a door so that your whole body can step into it. I'm telling you right now, you're about to step into new realms of glory. I'm telling you right now, you're about to step up higher into new levels. I'm telling you that your faith is causing you to step up into a new realm that you've never been before in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, someone say amen. Bam, 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 in Jesus' name. So I believe right now, the Lord is saying your faith is going to not only open up doors, but it's going to cause, uh, uh, it's going to cause your body, someone say body, which means your corporate body, your organization, your ministry, your finance, or your family, the body that you represent. It's going to cause your body to enter into the gate and enter into the door. Someone say hallelujah. Come on. Do you have enough faith for a nation? Do you have enough faith for your family? Do you have enough faith for your ministry? Do you have enough faith for somebody, an entity that's bigger and greater than you? What are they showing right there? Do you have enough faith? Come on. See, you see that it shows the nations. Do you have faith for the nations? Come on. Someone say amen. Listen, God wants to enlarge in your tents, but he needs to first enlarge in your faith. Come on. What did the disciples say to Jesus? Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Come on. Jesus wants to help your unbelief today. Come on. Remember, faith does not play small, but it dreams big. It goes after the greater. It goes after the more. It goes after the impossibilities. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart has found. Come on. Faith tackles the things that other people are afraid to tackle. Faith goes after the things that other people are afraid to go after. Come on. What are you pursuing? And I believe in this month of March as we're entering in, as this new season, this new month, we're going to need faith. Someone say faith. Amen. Listen, we are entering into the time and the season and the festival of Purim. Someone say Purim. Okay. What is Purim? Purim is the time of Esther, which is the Esther call and the Esther fast. In fact, right now, this is the time and the season where you will be getting consecrated and purified in oils and spices like Queen Esther was getting prepared. Come on. God is about to present you. Your purification is preparing you for your presentation before the kings and the princes. Someone say amen. So actually Purim is on March 9th and March 10th, which means we're actually in a time, in a week, in a season where we're getting prepared. God is saying, do you have faith to prepare? Do you have faith to go deep? Do you have faith to go long? Do you have faith to go wide? Do you have faith to invest? Remember this. Poor people never invest, all right? But if you invest, it's because you have faith. You have faith for tomorrow. You have faith for what's more. You have faith for what's coming. Come on, am I preaching too fast? Are you hearing me today in Jesus' name? God is preparing you for Purim. Someone say Purim. Come on. Purim, which means divine turnaround. Purim is a festival, is a season of divine turnaround. And guess what? One month after Purim is Passover or it is Resurrection Easter Sunday. Come on. God's getting us ready for resurrection. God's getting us ready for ascension. God's getting us ready for glorification, justification. God is getting you ready for greater glory. Someone say amen. If you believe it, say amen. So Ephesians chapter 6, you know that faith is a weapon. Come on. Faith is a weapon. What challenge have you been facing? What have you been facing that's been making it difficult for you to face? What are you looking at? What, what has been challenging you? What has been taunting you? Like the face of a Goliath that's been taunting you day in and day out. My gosh. What has been challenging? And I believe in this season the Lord is saying, I want to give you faith. All right, I want to give you faith. Because faith, remember, is a fruit of the Holy Ghost. Is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. You know, here's the thing. A lot of people are always wondering or they're always astonished by me and my life because really I, I have nothing. You know, faith is the currency of heaven. I really have nothing. You know, I don't have much gold. I don't have much wealth. I don't have a lot of these things. You know, but I bank on the economy of heaven and by faith through grace, I manifest it. 
I'm telling you, we're in a year and a season where dreams are about to be fulfilled. Someone say amen. Your dreams are about to be fulfilled. This is the year of Joseph. But remember, faith is a fruit of the Holy Spirit, not compromise, not comfort, not, not contentment, not, not these things that are of the flesh and that are carnal. Faith is a fruit of the Holy Spirit, which means that when you hear God speak, you say, yes, Lord. When you hear God move, you say, oh, let me move with you. When God begins to speak to you, you obey. You hear from heaven and you obey. I'm telling you right now, some of you need to obey. Some of you need to move. Come on, faith is a weapon. The reason why you're losing is because you're not moving in faith. You're moving in the flesh, not in faith. Let me ask you, are you moving in the flesh or are you moving in, in your faith? Flesh moves by what you see. Faith moves by the heavenlies. We live by faith, not by sight. What are you living for? What are you living by? By what you see or what you see with the eyes of childlikeness, with the eyes of faith? Come on. Oh, Sharabosa. Oh, for lack of vision, my people perish. Are you perishing because you don't have vision? How far can you see? That's faith. When you are in faith, you can see further than the rest. When you are in faith, you can see the gold in the midst of the dirt. When you are in faith, you can see the treasure in the midst of the rust. Come on. Faith will have greater and longer vision. How far can you see, people of God? I want to impart into you today faith. Because Esther had faith. She fasted, she prayed, and she turned the Lord back to the nation, and the nation turned back to God. And justice was released. Come on. How great is your faith? How great is your faith? The Lord wants to give you faith today in the mighty name of Jesus. Some would say amen. Some would say, I receive it. God wants to give you faith. Faith for what? For miracles. Faith for glory. Faith for power. Faith for deliverance. Ka -la 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 -la. Listen, you may have given up, but God never has. You may have given up, but God never has. You may want to give up because you've been waiting so long, but God has not given up on you. Come on, God wants to ignite you. He wants to impart it to you. He wants to anoint you with the gift of faith. Come on, you cannot love Jesus and have a lack of faith. Come on, uh, once again, are you in faith or are you in flesh? Flesh is determined by what you can do. It's based on your own abilities. It's self-centered. It's selfish on what you see, what you have. But faith is based on God. Faith is leaning into the Holy Ghost. Faith is taking it to the bank. And that's why, are you following me? If you're following me, if you're sure with me today, give me some hearts and likes. That's why the word faith, someone say faith. In the Greek, it is what? Pistis. P-I-S-T-S. -S. Come on. It is pistis. And what does that mean? Faith in the Greek is pistis. That means it's a guarantee. It is a will. Someone say will. Come on. Not Will Smith, but it's a will. What does that mean? Faith is a guarantee. It is a will. All right? It is a deposit. Come on. The Bible says the Holy Ghost is a deposit of our salvation. All right? So faith is a guarantee. It is a will. What is in your hand? What's in your wallet? Come on. If God gave you the word, then it's in your hand. It's the deed to the land. God is giving you deeds to the land. Come on. If he's giving you the prophetic word, the rhema unction, revelatory prophetic word of God, that means that there's something in your hand. He's saying you can guarantee it. You can take it to the bank. Come on. You know, even paper money or even checks. Come on. Someone writes down a check. What is that? It's a guarantee that when you take it to the bank, you can cash something out. But come on. Some of you, you have checks that are bouncing. You have checks that are bouncing. Come on. But God wants to give you real faith. He wants to give you a real guarantee. He wants to give you a real will. Come on. When your family member passes, you get a will. And the will says all the things. Come on. This is the word of God. You have the will, the word of God. You have a guarantee in your hand. This is a deposit. This is a guarantee. Come on. You can take it to the bank. You can bring it before the Father. He is faithful. He will do it. Come on. What are you waiting on? What is the word he's giving you? What did he speak to you in private? What did he say to you in public? Come on. What is that prophetic word in Jesus' name? That's what peace is. In the Greek, faith is peace. We must fight by the word of the Lord. We must. Do you like how my hands try to cover this? <laughs> we must fight by the word of the Lord. We need to fight by the authority of the deed of the land, which is the law of the land. Someone say amen. Okay, I'm going to bring this to a close here. Okay. If you're a receiver right now, say amen. I just wanted to hop on, say hello. Listen, Mark 11, 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask, say ask. Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Whatever you ask in prayer, 
believe you have received it and it will be yours. I'm telling you, it's yours. If you believe it, you will receive it. If you ask, it's yours. It's coming. It will no longer delay. It will no longer hinder. I break every delay. I break every hindrance. I break every confusion. I break every blockage. Power, fire. It will no longer delay. All right. If you ask in my name and if you ask in prayer, believe that you received it and it will be yours. Someone say it's mine. Whose world is this? The world is yours. Na 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 na. Whose world is this? The world is yours. Na 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 na. He's increasing your faith so you can ask. Come on, you need to ask. You need to go big. You need to go after. You need to go after the things of God. Come on, go big. Ask. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your possession. Come on. It doesn't say the ends of the earth as your rental. It says the ends of the earth as your possession. Are you a renter or are you possessing? Are you a renter or are you an owner? Praise God. Hallelujah. Some say hallelujah. So the Bible says... Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you receive that and it will be yours. Here's some dimensions of faith, all right? Faith causes you to ask. Faith causes you to act. A-C-T. Number two. Number one, ask. You ask. You pray. You inquire. You petition. You request. All right? Number two, you act. What does that mean? That means you take action. Faith without works is dead, all right? You take action. You got the word. What are you doing with it? You got the revelation. What are you doing with it? You act. You begin to take action. You obey and you move and you watch God move. He's waiting on you, not the other way around. We think we're, we're waiting on him. No, he's waiting on you. He's been waiting for a company, a generation, a remnant, a group of people that he can call upon. So number one, you ask. Number two, you act. A-C-T. You have action. Some say action. All right, number three, you advance. Some say advance. Remember, faith is a weapon. And we need faith to destroy the works of the devil. We need faith to see devils casted out. We need faith to see cancer healed. We need faith to do these conferences. We need faith to put on these crusades where tens and hundreds of thousands of people are going to come to the Lord. We need faith. Come on, someone say amen. Because God wants to give it. God wants to do it. But it's your faith that causes you to have access. When you ask, you act. You have action and you will advance forward. Remember, we the church, we the body of Christ, we the bride of Jesus Christ. We are people who are not helpless. You are not helpless, all right? We, we are not just waiting to be saved and rescued. This is not a rescue mission. We are waiting upon the Lord to advance forward as the militant army of God, okay? And we advance forward with faith. When we act and when we have, when we ask, can you ask of the Lord? The Bible says, ask and it'll be yours. Believe you received it and it'll be yours. Come on. Remember, as I said earlier, Ephesians 6, 16, the shield of faith. That word shield is thyreos, which means it is a door. It is a door. It is a gate. Did you ever hear that before? Thyreos means it is door shaped, which means that it is a full door for your whole body to enter in. Not only does it protect your body, but it also causes your body to go into the next level, the next season. It's a door. Faith is a door. Someone say amen. Listen, I want to pray right now as I close. Shoo! I want to pray that the Lord will impart faith to you. Because you and I need greater faith. We need we need we need more faith. Okay? We need faith. How do we have faith? You step out, you ask. You ask and you take action. You step out. Shoo! And watch what God will do, people of God. One of the things people are always surprised and impressed about, about me and my life and my ministry. I just turned 29. I'm a young man. I've been in full-time ministry 10 years in 48 countries. But one thing people are always impressed, surprised about is, is the faith that I have. It's I can't help but believe and say yes and just go after God and just do it. No lingering. No delay. No hesitancy. No resistance. No fear. No anxiety. Wisdom. From above is peace, sound loving, love. Come on. The wisdom of the earth is carnal, is destructive, is divisive. I want to pray right now that you and I, we will be faithful in the little things because God's about to give you the greater things. When you're faithful in the little, God will give you the bigger. God will give you the greater. He will give you the more beautiful, the more holy, the more awesome, the more incredible. I'm telling you right now, not only will you go from victory to victory, but you will go from faith to faith. 
How high is your faith? Are you ready for a boost of faith? Are you ready for a next level of faith? Are you ready for the Lord to bring you up higher, for your faith to increase? Because when your faith increases, that means your giving increases. Your blessings increase. It means everything else increases in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, I love you. I want to pray for you. Father, bless your people with the gift of faith. And not only the gift of faith, but the spirit of faith. Did you know that the gift of faith, it's a gift. That's why even people who don't believe in Jesus, they have great faith. They have great faith in science, great faith in economy, great faith, you know. But it's a gift. And God can gift you by the Holy Ghost. And not only that, but he could give you the spirit of faith, which means he is faithful and true. Our God is faithful and true. I love what Stacy Campbell said the other day. Not only is God Alpha, but he is also Omega, which means not only does he start a thing, but he will also finish a thing. Your faith will see you through. Your faith will cause you to not only start well, but to finish well. Your faith will see you through from glory to glory, point A to point Z. Your faith is going to bring you through the tunnel. Your faith is going to cause you to see his face. Come on, because your faith, will cause you to see his face. Someone say amen. I'm telling you right now, you're about to have a revelation. I'm telling you right now, you're about to have a face-to-face -face encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Your faith is going to cause you to not only endure, but it's going to cause you to be empowered. It's going to cause you to, uh, to thrive. It's going to cause you to fly. It's going to cause you to soar. Someone say faith. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for. The evidence is substantial. There's a weight, there's a feeling, there's a sensation, there's, there's a naturality. It's real. Come on, faith is your reality, people of God. What are you living by? What are you living by? Rabobo, faith is a higher reality. It's the realm, it's the world that we live in. And today, you can have access to different realms of faith. Different realms of faith. I'm telling you today, you're coming up on another level. I'm telling you right now. There's a new realm of faith for you in Jesus' name. Guys, blessings to you. Write down below what spoke to you the most, if this made sense, if you received something, if you learned, uh, what was the highlight for you. I do believe right now we're in a season where God's gifting us and gracing us with the gift of faith and with the realm and greater measures of faith because it's going to take more faith for us to release the power, the dunamis, the greater glory, the graces, the miracles of God in heaven here on the earth in this time and in this season. Someone say faith. It's a shield. It is a shield that's shaped like a door. It's time for you to go through. You're going through in Jesus' name. Blessings to you. This is Pastor Ben Lemire from Hawaii. Aloha.